Good evening everybody, I already have uh, shared to you all the formulas, we have discussed uh, the time value of money chapter, what is future value, present value, um, annuity, ordinary annuity, annuity due etc. All these topics theoretically we have discussed, today we will be starting up with the practicals, formulas as well as the question paper I have reached out to you. So let's start solving from the first topic called as future value. So the formula, the first part of the future value is calculating simple interest. Your uh, formula is future value equals to principal. P stands for principal, N stands for number of years, time period and I stands for rate of interest. So the formula here is principal plus in the bracket number of years into rate of interest into the principal amount. Now here's your first question. The person has invested rupees 10,000 today at the rate of 10 percent when we con convert it by 100 it will become 0 0.10 for the period of 5 years. So let us solve this it is a very simple problem principal is 10,000 plus number of years is 5 into 10 percentage I am going to divide it by 100 so it is going to be 0 0.10 into 10,000. So first we will be solving what is there inside the bracket. So it is 5 into 0 0.10 into 10,000 is 5,000. So together so answer is 15,000. So today if you invest 10,000 at a rate of interest of 10% for 5 years, after 5 years your total amount or the future value is rupees 15,000. So 15,000 is the future value of the present 10,000. So this is the first basic problem. So this is our second question where it says about compounding. So your second question is find out the future value of a sum of rupees 2000 after a year which is compounded at 12 percent per annum. So usually students get uh, you know confused ma'am the uh, number of years is not given or the time period is not given. Now they have told rupees 2000 after a year so that is exactly meant that the time period is here only one year. So what is the given information? Principal is 2000 rupees, the number of years is 1 year and the rate of interest is 12 percent divided by 100, I will get 0.12. So what is my compounding formula? Future value equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n. Now 1 here is a constant. So let us solve the problem. So the principal is 2000, 1 plus i is 0 0.12 to the power of 1, 2000, 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 to the power of 1 is the number itself. So when I multiply 2000 into 1.12 1 is 2240. 
so this is the amount of the future value of 2000 invested today under compounding interest not simple interest but compounding interest So your third question is, Mr. X, a finance manager in ABC Limited, invests surplus funds of 10,000 in a nationalized bank at 10% compounded per annum. How much will Mr. X have after three years? So again, this is a not simple interest, but compounding interest. The question itself is mentioning to you. Now let's look at here. Given is principal amount is 10,000 rupees, number of years is three years and rate of percentage is 10%. So instead of P, I'm going to write it as 10,000, 1 plus 0 0.10 to the power of 3. Three three one. After compounding, your value is 1.331. So your answer is going to be 13,300. 10 rupees. So the future value of rupees 10,000 invested now in a nationalized bank, Mr. X will have 13,310 rupees as his future value. Let's start with the fifth sum. Fourth sum, I want you to work out. Um, fifth sum, let's do it. An investor deposits rupees 2000 at an interest rate of rupees 10 percent in a bank fixed deposit. What would be the value of deposit at the end of second year if the compounding is done? You have four separate questions annually, semi annually, quarterly, and monthly. Now, this is usually your sec section five question, a complete five marker question. So I want you to notice here, principal is 2000, interest rate is 10 percent and the time period is 2 years. What is different about this question is, it is a non-annual compounding. Usually your interest is compounded annually, right? What happens if it is not compounded annually but non-annually? What do you mean by non-annual compounding? Maybe every 3 months once I am compounding, every month once I am compounding, is that clear? Or every uh, half, uh, half annually I am uh, compounding the interest. So these are the various ways I am compound the interest rate. So here the first question is find out annually if it compounds. So your formula will remain the same. Principal that is 2000. one plus interest is 10 percent always remember interest you have to convert into decimal format and then write it why is it because your answer will be more precise and accurate if it's in decimal format to the power of two so 2000 what is uh, one po one point one to the power of two 1.1 to the power of 2 is 1.21. So your final answer has to be 2420 rupees. Okay, so principal 2000 multiplied by constant 1 into 0 0.10 to the power of 2 will give you an answer of 2420 semi annually same amount 2000 1 plus 
Now remember here it is semi annually. Whenever it is semi annually, you have to multiply it divided by the months. Whenever it is semi annually, you have to divide the rate of interest by month. So interest is 10 percentage, that is 0 0.10. Semi annually means half, right? 6 months and then 6 months. So it is 2 times. Divided by 2 years that is n. How many times into 2 times you are paying the interest. When I am mentioning here m, m means how many times are you paying the interest in one particular year. Now let us say for example semi annually right. There is 2 years. This is one year. This is the second year. Semi annually means every 6 months once I will pay. Every 6 months once I am going to pay the interest. So how many times am I paying? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 into 2 will be 4. So 2000, 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 2 will give you 0 0.05 to the power of 2 into 2 is 4. So, 2k into 1.05 to the power of 4. That will give an answer of 1.2155. When you multiply 2000 into 1.2155, you will get an answer. Okay. So, this answer of semi annually is 2431. So, if the bank is paying him interest annually, yearly once, so it is going to be 2420 rupees per year. If the interest is paid semi annually, that is twice a year, that means in total for two years, four times he is getting interest. So, your amount is going to be 2431. Can you observe the difference? If it is paid annually, it is 2420. If it is paid semi annually, it is 2431. So, there is a marginal increase in the amount, total amount that Mr. X receives. So, the second part of the question is we have found out annually, semi-annually, second part is quarterly and monthly. The first you need to understand is about the time period. Whenever the interest is paid quarterly, how much, how many months is one quarter? Three months is, three months is one quarter. So, in a year we have 12 months. So, when I am saying every 3 months, so we are going to have 4 quarters in each year. What is the time period of each uh, investment here? 2 years. So, in a year there is 4 interest payments. Therefore, 2 years, 4 into 2 you will have 8 times interest paid. Let us solve. So, principal is 2000. So, 1 plus i is 0 0.1 divided by payments are 8. Payments made are 4 times. Or you can write it as 2 into 4 here. Okay. 2000, 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 4. Because in one year, how many interest payments are you receiving? In one year, it's 4. So, I'm going to divide the entire interest by 4. Next, what is the N? N stands for total number of years, 2. How many monthly payments are you making? How many terms of payment? 4 and 4. So, into 4. So, in a year, 4 times. So, 2 into 4 is 8. So, 2000. So, 0 0.10 divided by 4 will give 0 0.025. 2 into 4 will give you 8. So, I am just adding it up to the power of 8. So, your answer is going to be 8, 4. So, when you multiply 2000 into 1.2184, your answer is 2436. 2436. Next, monthly. So, monthly is every month your interest is getting compounded. So, in a year how many months are there? 12. So, what is my time period? 2 years. So, 2 years into 12 is 
24 times interest is paid. Let's solve this. 2000 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by how many times? In a month, sorry, in a year I am getting paid 12 times. So, 2 years into 12. So, 0 0.10 divided by 12 is 0083 to the power of 2 into 12 is 24. Adding it up to the power of 24. So, your answer is 1.2194 multiplied by 2k. So, your final answer is 2439 rupees. So, let us look at the conclusion of the problem. We have calculated on four bases annually, semi annually quarterly and monthly. Let us just look at the answers. If you can observe, it started with 2420 when interest is paid twice to, for 2 years. 2 years, twice and then next semi-annually, if interest is paid 4 times, that is in 2 years, interest is compounded 4 times. Your amount is going to be 2431. Same thing, if interest is compounded 8 times in 2 years, your interest is going to be, total amount is going to be 2436. The last, if interest is paid or compounded 24 times in a year, that means every month your interest is getting compounded, then for 2 years, your monthly installment or monthly compounded interest plus principal is going to be 2440. If you can observe, there is a slight increase in the amount of interest or amount in the total amount you will receive apart uh, together with principal plus interest after two years if annually semi-annually quarterly and monthly mm -hmm.